Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing a spaghetti and mince meat meal. Now I have a pan where well you can see the pan with well it's got water in it you probably can't see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some salty water and then I'm going to add some spaghetti. Uh, yeah I know I didn't show you but I'm just, show, just showing you now I've put some spaghetti in a pan you saw me add the salt and well now it's just going to well eventually start boiling and then it'll be done right you can probably just see I've got some minced meat in the bowl I'm going to add some salty water and some pepia even though I don't like a lot of pepia you sometimes need it for cooking and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onions out and why do you always stay in the dish and now I'm going to mix that all together yeah I'm going to mix it all together you probably can't see very well but the spaghetti is now all started boiling I know there's little bits sticking up, just push them down, put the lid on and that's that doing. And as you can see I've got my fry pan or frying pan as some people like to be called like it to be called. So yes it's got some oil in it and there's the ring is just coming on. So I turn the mandles over there and let's get on with it. Right, I have got my bowl with onions and well with onions in. Uh, now I've never done this so anyway, don't matter, let's get on with it. So I'm gonna crack two eggs and as you all know I am no good at cracking eggs I know a lot of you have told me how to do it there we are and that wants a good mix round uh, with my hand oh dear no uh, so yeah that oh, I would have dread this oh. and I've got to make these into a ball I like like a a round ball. Oh, this is disgraceful, disgusting. So yes, I'm going to make them. I'm going to. Well, yeah, I'm going to make. I'm going to keep mashing this together. Oh dear. Right after I made the ball, I've got to flatten it out and put it in a pan as though I'm making patties. Is that the word? Yeah, patties. So I know I've only put one in. But I'm going to do the rest and put the rest in and then I will show you them all cooking away. Right, I had the pan that uh, turned down to a, a medium heat now. I have whacked it up. So while the spaghetti is cooking, get down a bit more. a bit more flatter so I'm going to let them cook it says it should be about three to four minutes on each side well seeing that they are flat and I don't know if you can see on that one the little bubbles I stop kicking that camera little bubbles around it where it's starting to do so I move that in near it to the middle Gonna sit. But yeah, that one is near is 
chicken is doing with the bubbles around the outside which means that will be ready in a few minutes to turn over not yet well i had a failed attempt at trying to turn that one over but i don't move, move up a bit a minute please thank you i don't know if you can see this little one ow not in my eye please i don't know if you can see him you see i'm touching him can you see yeah at that little one put your glasses on here you might be able to see what you're doing because at the moment you're both working blind right so there's can't see because it lends at camera right there's a little one here can you see it yeah you can there's a little one here that's done well it's not done it's partly done i'll turn that over because like i said when i turn the other over the other one over it's uh well it was a disaster it fell apart <laughs> now i have turned the other two over um well yeah i think it's starting to take effect uh, i'm still sh unsure what to do about the first one well i'm still unsure what to do about the first one well i know they're not like the patches you get from the shop i know they're all big and lovely and everything and mine are all broken and small but then again i ain't no chef so I'm just, well, I'm just going to leave them to cook a bit more and, well, then we'll see what happens then. And if I had to say that is the best patty in the pan, I've broke them all up now. Um, well, I've broke them all up, make sure they all get done proper. But that, I think, is your best patty. Now it says to take it out and put it on the plate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up turn it over as you can see it's doing nicely can you see yes of course you can and well you can see it's doing nicely and oh don't push it too far apart okay and now I'm going to put it on a plate and put the rest of the stuff in the pan now it says in the same pan Add 235 milliliters. God, I thought I was going to burn over. Don't add 235 milliliters of shit. Um, a table, no, lying, don't lie. A teaspoon of garlic. And, and a little a sprinkle of honey and so on. It's a bit more, a bit more. That's a good sprinkle of honey, honey and right. And then it said mix it. Where's me off for do for gone? Put it in the bowl. Why? Why? Get that why that's it. And then it said to mix it. Hold on, there's a bit of minced meat there. Getting out. Hello. Found you. Spied you. There you are. Oh, another piece here. It's going everywhere. So let's turn that back up. I'll turn it down to number three, four, five, six. You might have got different numbers on your cooker. Well, you'll know your own heat for your own. You'll know your own heat on your cooker. Good gracious. So, yes, I've got to let that cook for a while. Let the honeyons go soft. Oh, I've just cut that one. Never mind. So we'll let them, I think I will turn it back down to number three because the onions will go, will need to go soft before I can add the rest of it. 
So let's just let the let's just let them cook a while or let them simmer for a while. Right, the uh, I've just pinched a piece of honey and it was quite it was a little bit crunched but not too much. So now because as you can see it's still all very what's the word movable <laughs> it's not like a sauce so it says to add two tablespoons of flour did I put the garlic in? Yes, I did. You did. You did put the garlic in, Kay. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And I'm going to stir like crazy to make it all into a sauce. That's what it's got to be, a sauce. Now I know there's not a lot of sauce but it's a lot thicker I don't know if that's a word but <laughs> but on Kay's cooking it could be anything any word so yeah that makes that's made a lot thicker I made it oh there's still some flour there so I'll give that a little mixy mixer yes that's a new word and all mixy mixer and I knew, do know one of you have picked, picked up on it so that is that and I'm going to get my burger patty and I'm gonna put oh can you see I'm putting sauce this you know this sauce here I'm putting yeah you can see yeah and I'm putting that on my burger turn that off okay because it's done wait one moment i don't even know how to turn my own cooker off wait stop and that you can't see that is your end product oh, end product of spaghetti and pate i don't know i can't think of a title but i'll have thought of one before this goes up just to tell you i've cheated i've just put some salt salty walty on this spaghetti so let's just mmm mmm now let's taste the patty come here come here It just tastes like a patty, like mince sweet with uh, salt and pepper mixed in it. Can't see how wrong with that. That's lovely. That actually, that's quite nice. That. So yeah, it's nice. Well, Kay said it was nice. So yeah. So uh, there's gonna be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to leave, no, if you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free. Oh, a comment and a recipe. Uh, comment and a recipe, please feel free. The more the merry, more the the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed. Get them subscribing. Get yourself subscribing. Thank you. Bye.